In these elections, what I found really interesting in your report was the implications that you outlined for the ECB and, and the next ECB president. Just take us through that. Yeah, I think it, it goes beyond ECB because if you look over the next year or so, a mm. number of key positions within the European structures, ECB, the head, uh, head of uh, Eurogroup, uh, a number of other positions are becoming vacant. And typically, these are filled through negotiations between the member, member states. Uh, and depending on what happens, what happens with the German elections, you might find that uh, somebody like the uh, current finance minister, uh, Schäuble, mm -hmm. uh, ends up taking one of those positions. Uh, if that were to happen, then obviously we know he's a reasonably uh, conservative um, uh, when it comes to fiscal policy and European matters. Mm -hmm. uh, and that could, on the margin, influence the direction of the European Union. Themis, when you're talking about who governs Germany and what kind of coalition next time, you mentioned that on the margin it makes a difference. Therefore, with portfolios, do you make changes now before we know a result? Do you wait for a result? What's the timing here? Yeah, I, I don't, fundamentally, I don't think we're going to see a big shift in uh, the German policy. Um, so I, I don't think the German elections will be a big driver for the markets. Uh, I think it's just another step in the direction of uh, getting all these political events uh, out of the way. Uh, we started the year with a lot of uncertainty. That is slowly disappearing. We get more certainty. We still got the Italian elections. I think uh, not many people talk about it, but that, uh, that will come. Uh, and, and I think more important uh, for me is the relationship between Germany and France, uh, mm. Merkel and Macron. Uh, and that relationship, I think, is going to be crucial after the elections, uh, whether the two countries drive more reforms in Europe. Uh, and if we were to get also a positive result in yeah. Italy, then you have basically some of the big European mm. countries having had elections, all their certainty behind them, with pro-European leaders wanting to reform European Union more. Okay. That would be positive.